here is impatient me deciding that I have to open this right now and sneak a peek before I'm ready to do the actual unboxing. This is a Shop Goodwill auction that I won and I believe this is all owl jewelry. So I happen to love owls. They just make me think of the serenity prayer. The wise old owl telling me the serenity prayer. And so I purchased this lot from the Greater Cleveland and East Central Ohio Goodwill. And the total was $41 for this bag of all kinds of fun owl jewelry. Look at that, that's fabulous. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to take a closer peek with you guys. Let's take a look at our owl jewelry. And I can tell you right away that this adorable thing is going on my wrist. He's so cute. Look at the glimmer in the eyes and it's just like a subtle owl thing. See, I like more of the subtle owl jewelry than like this. It's magnificent, but that's something that I would feel a little more self-conscious wearing. <laughs> So I go for the understated look, but this is really neat. Um, like this marbled, glittery green. He's got his two black faceted eyes and this gold toned clamper. It is really cool. So I'll do five for that. We have a decree watch. Um, I think this band. Let's see if we can undo the band with these crazy nails I have on there longer than I normally do. Um, so yeah, he's a little beat up, probably needs a new battery. Oh, no, wait. Oh, I thought, I thought I saw the second hand go. Um, so I'll do three if anybody would like that. Uh, let's see what we can pick out quickly. All right. So this is both a clamper bracelet and a ring. So I believe, oh, no, I guess it would go, sorry. I'm probably making you sick. Stop shaking. Okay, so we go like this. Am I supposed to put the bracelet on first? Oh my gosh, I didn't know this would be so difficult. Okay, so we've got a clamper bracelet and then the ring. And then I guess it all faces out. So there you have it. And so it's gold tone and black. The ring is adjustable. And looks like there's a green stone right there, which I don't see on the other side. So I guess it's missing, or I can't tell if that just accidentally got in there odd, right? But then he does have rhinestones and black faceted stones. And I'll do five dollars for him as well. I do love owls. Oh, add another big one. Let's get the big ones out of the way first. Maybe it'll help us clear some of this other stuff. So this is like that last one that we just looked at except it is silver and oh look at this neat turquoise it's got like feathering in it so I guess it's just like a plastic painted stone with some neat detailing and then blue rhinestones coming down to the matching ring that's so cute so another $5 piece. I like that one more than the, the gold tone one. Let's see what we have here. He is a really cute little owl. And it looks like he should open up. Um, I don't know how, but he's open in the back. So I don't see that there's anything in him. But he's very cute and a long lobster claw with extender necklace. 
silver tone and I'm sure, yeah, that's magnetic. So I'll do four on him. We have just some, oh, where are these? I don't know if these are, I need to learn the difference between glass and plastic. I, I wanna say these are just plastic beads with a little gold charm on it. And then this is just a gold spacer on the opposite side. So I would do two for him. What is this? Look at him. Okay. So just another fashion piece with all these different colored feathers making up his body. Black stones in his eyes. There's what the back looks like. And on a long chain with a lobster claw. He is super cool. I'll do six on him. Very pretty. Long chain. Ooh. Combines two of my favorite jewelry things. Owls and watches. But like I like the unique watch components. So let's see if we can undo this to pull this free. There we go. All right. So again, a long brass toned lobster closure. But look at the cute watch face on him. Very pretty. It's just from Claire's. But I think that's so cute. So I'll do three on him. He, I, honestly, I would not have guessed he was from Claire's. I thought it was better quality than Claire's. Oh, me. There's probably a lot of this is Claire's, and I just don't know it. I'm attracted to the owls. <laughs> Here is just a silver tone owl. He does seem to have some turning on the back. Um, and yes, this is also Claire's. So we'll do three on him as well. Look at this one. Let's get him free. All right. So here we have a pendant with black faceted eyes, clear crystals on his belly on a brass tone. And then he's got plastic beads going up to, oh, look at this little magnetic closure though. Isn't that cute? So there is, all right, let me try to clear a section that we can take a better look items as they come up. Got it hooked on the magnet then. Let's take a look at him. There we go. So there is what he looks like and I'll do four on him. Again, I love magnetic closures, so that's just so cute. All right. Please detangle easily. Look how cute and colorful. I love the colored um, faceted stones on him. Brass tone. Um, there's actually, is there no, there's no closure on him. So it must be long enough for a fold over and I'll do four on him. They're all hymns. Have you noticed that? Oh my gosh. This one is beautiful. It might be a, a catch and release. The stone on the belly is like a gigantic cat's eye. Are you catching the light? It's so cool. Here's what the back of, sorry for the shaking. There's what the back of him looks like. And I don't see any note of maker. Again, I feel like, it, like he looks like he should open up but I don't know why he would open. So, and I'm not, oh. 
Oh, okay, yes. So for some reason he does open up that way. I, I don't know why, I don't know what you would do. Oh, except maybe break him. <laughs> I think I did, I broke him. Well, doesn't that stink? Um. <laughs> so I will fix it. Well, you know what? I said I was going to keep him. I think I'm going to keep fix him and keep him for myself now that I just broke him on camera. That was smooth. Right here. Did somebody put googly eyes? No, I think those are his eyes. Breast toned. I feel like he must be. Oh, watch. Yep, because of the back. Now I'm going to be scared to open anything. Oh, look, his wings go out. And it says DBS Quartz. <laughs> that is super cute. Is it Claire's? It doesn't say. But he's very cute. As you can see right now, the watch is not working. So I'll sell him as is for five and eight if you want me to make sure he's working and replace the battery. Cute. I apologize for this band-aid on my thumb. That's from canoeing. <laughs> oh, he must be missing a stone. So he'll go to craft. And craft items are always a dollar if anybody wants them. And you can always email me at dale at flippinfiasco.com if you do see anything you're interested in. So oh we have a couple that are on a similar chain. <laughs> Look at the googly eyes. Okay, now those are just googly eyes. That somebody, yeah, they're plastic. They're kind of crushed in. Somebody glued on him. Oh my goodness. On this weird, like kind of fakey chain. I, I'm not sure what to think of him. And then we have one that does not have fake googly eyes on him. Um, he looks like he must be missing part of his branch over here. So I think these guys are both just going to go to craft. So again, a dollar. I'm going to put the craft items over here if anybody's interested. Okay. Here we have a brassy owl with black cabochons for eyes and a lobster closure. There is what he looks like, and I'll do three on him. This guy, I feel like he should have stones in his eyes, don't you think? Um, I'm not quite sure what's going on with him. I will probably just put him in craft. Here we have... All right, a magnificent flying owl, black faceted eyes. There's what the back of him looks like. And then we've got a long chain, lobster closure. Here is what he looks like, and I'll do four on him. Oop, he's flying, fly over here. Aw, do you know what? I thought I saw a bead on the bottom. Yes, do you see it rolling around? Right there. That must be his other eye. <laughs> um, so we've got this guy. He has a pretty blue stone in his belly too. It's a little lighter than what it looks on the camera. Um, on kind of a shorter chain with a spring clasp. There's what he looks like. And again, I'll repair him if anybody's interested for three. Oh, I got pen on him. Okay. Oh, I'm excited to get to this piece on the bottom. First, we gotta go through all this stuff on the top. Oh, look at this winky owl. He's winking. He's got like blue resin, it seems, poured into his eyes. It's interesting. Probably missing something, don't you think, from his belly? Um, spring clasp. I 
think I'll probably put him in craft, but let me know if you're interested. He's just got so many owl pieces. Okay, should I pull this brush out? I thought the hands were moving around. Um, so a cute little, um, like a, no, uh, like a seafoam kind of color, colorful watch. Um, not seeing any kind of maker on it. So again, three, if you don't need the battery and if you want a battery, then I'll do another five. So eight with battery. Here, I like to put the turquoise with them, huh? So another, I think just turquoise colored stone in the belly of the owl. And we've got the spring closure on this chain. There we go. Let's just make sure, yes, magnetic. And I'll do three on him. He's cute. He looks a little angry though, to be honest. Ooh, sparkly. I like this sparkly owl. <laughs> he is on a nice long chain with lobster closure. And I'll do five on him. I think that he's got all of his stones in his belly. His belly is like dipped in here. But that looks like the way it was made. It doesn't look like it's been uh, damaged. So you see all the stones. So yes, five. Very cute. Let's get this out of the way. What do you say? So we have a brand new mud ring, stretch ring, retailed for 14 at Kohl's. I will do seven on him. Cute. How many, is somebody keeping track of how many times I say cute? Here's a brass tone stretch ring. No maker's mark. Um, he's mirrored on the back. Can you see that? And has that orange stone, faceted stone on his belly. Um, I will do five on him. I think any of these boxes are promising. Durango. Oh, those are different. Look at those. They look probably wood handcrafted hook earrings. And I don't know if this is an original box. Like, is that the artist that made them? So I'll have to look into that one and I'll put some information on the screen. I don't know if you know that I use my phone to do recordings, so I can't look up things on my phone while I'm recording. Okay, here we have two sets of earrings, pierced earrings. They are gold tone and you've got little guys and then bigger guys with big eyes and a big clear crystal. Um, it does say lead free. So I'll do four on the earrings. What is this? Hmm. Well, he almost looks like a, uh, like the scream mask, right? But I guess he's an owl. Um, a nice little clasp. Let's see. Yes, it is magnetic. I, I'm just going to put that in craft. But if anybody's interested, one dollar. What other goodies do we have? We have some Claire's earrings. Cute little sparklies. I'll do two. What does this say? Deserves.com. Okay. Oh, we have all kinds of earrings. All right. Are they all matching? That would be exciting. These are pretty. Gold tone with blue stones. 
and then orange eyes. They're a really nice gold color. Like they're not as like orange and brassy as these guys. So let's just see. Ooh, they are not magnetic. We might have to do a little test on them. I'll just put them at the back for now. But I do have some bonus hair, not for sale. <laughs> Look at these. They're pretty. Do you think that's um, that's some kind of shell, I think, giving that great shimmer. Super pretty. I'll do four on these earrings and just see if they are. Oh, hang on. I might have to change my pricing. I might want to do a test on those too. I'll put my testers in the back. Here is a pair of little guys with clear stone eyes. Pierced earrings. They are magnetic. So I will do two on him. We have wings. Kind of straying a tiny bit from the owl theme. I'll probably just put them in craft. So a dollar. Again, I'm not sure how they made their way here. One dollar. And these guys too. We've got piece earrings and just little plastic stones, I think. So one dollar. But we'll test those at the end. Make sure we don't have anything else we want to test. All right, so this is a very long brassy chain. Oh, there is a mark on it. It says, I think it said SMS. SHB. Right? Yeah, SHB. I'm not sure what that stands for. Um, his little tail seems to be caught. There we go. So there he is. And he does have, you know, some movement to his body, but then comes to a pretty steady state. Clear rhinestones on his tail, black faceted eyes. And I might have to do a little research on him before I give a price. I'm not sure about that tag. This cute with the pink stones and a spring clasp. It is in nice condition. I don't see any maker on the back. Um, it is magnetic. I would do three on this piece. Oh, here's another big one with a spring class. Oh. All right, there's what he looks like. So again, movement. Big guy, he's silver. Oh no, I thought maybe he was missing jump rings on either side, but nope. Oh, he is missing one right here. So if anybody's interested, I'll do three on him and I'll put the jump ring in. He's just got these gold balls for eyes. I, You know what, I might just put him in craft. I feel like somebody could make something really spectacular out of him, like putting so, I mean, if any of you are interested in doing that yourself, one dollar. Oh, didn't I already do this one? I must have two of these. So, whatever price I said, same for this guy. Lobster closure. Oh, he's a little different. Lots of blinging on him, and then he's got this, um... I think it's just plastic green belly that is like textured. It kind of reminds me of a pineapple, but on a really pretty chain. Let me see what this says. Does it say Claire's? China. Oh, it says China. The other side is just blank. Oh, but then we have this. What is that mark? Do you know? So this is another one I'm going to have to research. And, ooh, we're gonna test too. 
because I thought this gold looked really nice. Um, we'll set him back there with the testers. We have another guy with movement and the black cabochon eyes. He is very similar to somebody we looked at earlier. Um, exactly the same, not quite, but very similar. Did I say three? I'm thinking three. We were getting, oh my gosh. Ooh, here's the belly of somebody who, who is missing. Somebody was missing their belly, right? He was missing their belly. This guy. He was missing his belly. So now he's got a belly. I'll do two on him. I know my prices is probably all over the place, but just bear with me on that. Right. This is what I think is so special. And I bet this is a Lee Sands piece. So I've seen um, lions. I've gotten two of his lion pendants. But I bet this is another Lee Sands. And I'm going to have to look up pricing. And I'll put it on the screen. But he is really pretty. It needs to be cleaned a little bit right here. But look at that. That is spectacular. That was worth it for this whole box all on its own. I just love his stuff. And, woo. He's whimsical, isn't he? What do you think he's made of? I don't know. I mean, he's all carved up. Um, I don't know what he's made of. Hopefully it's not ivory. Could be bone. I don't know. Maybe celluloid. I'm just going to hang on to him for now. Let's see what else we have. Tenerith. I don't know where that is, but a cute little keychain. M and L. Four dollars. Let's see what else we have in here. Another one of those watches. This one doesn't have a chain. Here is a brooch. I don't see a maker's mark. Very cute though, I'll do four. Here's a pendant. No maker, he's in nice condition though. His eyes need a little bit of cleaning. Whoop. But I'll do four on him. And look at this guy. Isn't he sweet? I like the dainty little feet and branch. I'm not sure what this is made of in here. Might have to look this one, see what I can determine about this one. And before we go, let's test these items that I pulled to the back. All right, there's our stone. We'll do our 18K for silver and we'll start at 10K for gold. So gold, gold, oh, let's do these first. A little scratch, oh, that's brassy. So my hunch is they are not silver. That is correct. That just disappeared like a ghost. All right, so these earrings, though, very pretty. I will do five on them. And next we have these earrings, which I honestly, like, I don't think are gold, but we're certainly going to make sure since they weren't magnetic. Hmm. I 
was so sure I covered most of my scratch and it's not going away at all. So let's get out the 14K and we will do another scratch. Sorry, mister, I keep scratching you. All right, so we'll do the top of this one just in case we have to go one more. Okay, no, it disappeared with that. So maybe it is at least 10K though, right? That scratch is not going away, but the end one did. And let me wipe this clean. And we'll take a look at the um, necklace. All right, so these 10K, I'm doing $10 on them for you, my subscribers, whom I love. All right, so let's test this chain. I know it says China, but it has that mark that I'm not familiar with. So we'll scratch the chain. There's our scratch. We'll test with 10K. I won't cover the whole line this time. And that is not going anywhere. Let's try 14. And it goes right away. So again, maybe at least 10. Carrot. Um, and again, I need to look him up before I can say anything because I'm not sure what that mark is. So, who do you love? <laughs> Did you enjoy the owl jewelry? I think you know which one is my favorite piece, right? Oop, there we go. That's my favorite. Thank you for being here, and I'll catch you next time.